if you've tuned into my previous videos, you've learned a little bit about who Neural Luminance is and what we do. Today, I'm gonna to dial in really tight to one topic, and that is infrared light therapy. Now, I can't cover everything there is about infrared light therapy in one video, so I'm gonna focus just on depression. Infrared light therapy, what is that? Certain wavelengths of infrared light have the ability to turn on the mitochondria. And when it activates the mitochondria, you not only get more energy, but you also get signals to the rest of the cell, telling the cell to make certain proteins and do certain things. So when the infrared light stimulates the mitochondria, that turns on neuroplasticity, that turns on uh, proteins that decrease inflammation, and that results in uh, the cell making new synapses, the cell uh, dendrites, those little trees on the tops of the dendrite neurons branching, spreading, and new circuits forming with other neurons. In other words, brain repair. Now, how does that relate to depression? Well, you have to understand that all this stuff that we've been told about depression, oh, depression is not enough serotonin, it's a chemical imbalance, we need to put you on a serotonin reuptake inhibitor to increase your serotonin. Anybody who, who has depression knows exactly how well that works. You got about a 20% chance that an antidepressant is going to work. And you got to take the pill every day. And maybe if you're lucky, you're in that 20% who get better, you get somewhat better, but you know, do you get 100% better? Mm, generally not. That's because SSRIs, yeah, they increase serotonin, but that's a happy accident. What they really do is they turn on neuroplasticity very badly. Infrared light therapy, particularly the type of multi-watt infrared light therapy that we do, turns on neuroplasticity very, very powerfully. And therefore, multi-watt infrared light therapy is a very powerful antidepressant. Can you imagine getting 20, 30 treatments of something and being done, saying, okay, see you later, doc, have a nice life, not taking a pill every day. Can you imagine? But that's exactly what our patients have experienced. Now, everyone's different. Sometimes they need 20 treatments, 20 times it's 30, sometimes more. You know, we're assessing along the way. Everybody's an individual. The treatments themselves, you know, we do them, you know, generally twice a week. So can you imagine, you know, 10 weeks into your life? You know, that's about, you know, it takes six weeks for an SSRI to work, but 10 weeks into your life, you're depression free. Yeah, we're not changing your genes. So is there a chance that depression could come back years down the road? Well, yeah, let's be honest. But, you know, you could be depression free for years. And that's where we're seeing in our patients, five, six, seven, eight years out, they're depression free. That's pretty exciting stuff. What about the really complicated cases? The people who they've tried everything and they're not getting better and still they're struggling. So treatment resistant depression, what do you do for that? Well, guess what? Remember ketamine? It's all a rage. Well, and I've been working with ketamine for 10 years. And I'll tell you something, ketamine turns on neuroplasticity as well by a different mechanism. So what happens if you take multi-watt infrared light therapy, one mechanism, and ketamine, another mechanism, and you put them together, you get synergy. One plus one equals three. And that is a potent, powerful antidepressant mix, more powerful than either one by itself. So really, really exciting stuff going on here. And, you know, any comments, any questions, please reach out to me. And uh, I'll be talking more about what infrared light therapy does for different disorders as we go along. Dr. Henderson, signing off.